I understand the natural rush to judgment. It's human instinct. That said, we have a process for a reason. In the public eye, that process began early Tuesday morning with the arrest of Cincinnati City Councilman Jeff Pastor, followed by a federal indictment and press conference by the U.S. Attorney's Office. The indictment alleged Pastor asked for and received $55,000 in bribes and money in exchange for his votes on council for two development projects starting in August of 2018 into February of 2019. I don't deny that there's tape recordings and that kind of thing. But whether, whether or not uh, that amounts to a federal crime, I'm not aware of. I'm not aware. I'm not sure uh, that the votes that have alleged to have been paid for were ever taken. Pastor's attorney, Ben Dusing, says he has yet to be presented with the facts, but says there is more to the story. Before we just throw somebody out on the street that was elected by the people. Uh, let's catch our breath and make sure we do the right thing. Several leaders, including Mayor John Cranley, have signaled the right thing for Pastor to do is step down amid these allegations, something he's not required to do while this process plays out. Mr. Pastor has not made a decision one way or another at this juncture regarding whether resignation is the proper course. Well, Pastor is a married father of four with a fifth child on the way. Conviction on the charges could result in a minimum of 20 years in prison. Ashley Kirkland, WLWT News 5.